Here we are at the end of our Percy Jackson journey. We are tackling The Last Olympian and actually my favorite book within the series. I mean, I always think it's incredibly hard to stick that landing to a franchise, and I think The Last Olympian does incredibly well. I feel like everyone gets their moment within the book, and there's a lot of heartfelt scenes. Today we are going to be tackling some of those last characters within the Olympian series, and then I'll be moving on to a new franchise. So let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. I know a lot of you really want me to stick within this universe, but honestly I've only read the Percy Jackson series, so maybe in the future I'll tackle them, but as you saw here, I'm a slow reader. But for today, we are taking a look at the characters within The Last Olympian, and we're tackling Selena, Charles, Ethan, Hestia, and Kronos. So let's cast Percy Jackson and the Olympians one last time. First up, we have Selena, a conflicted character, and someone who is really important to this series. She is the daughter of Aphrodite, and should be beautiful, but less involved in her looks than the other children of Aphrodite. She is kind and caring and seems almost gentle. She gets wrapped up with Luke and makes poor decisions, but isn't malicious in the same way that he is. I never saw her as a villain, but rather someone who was naive. She eventually gets blackmailed by Luke and becomes an unwilling participant. She loves Charlie without waver and only continues to be a spy to protect him. This is a complex role that I think needs the right type of actress. Someone who's soft, but you can see them make the wrong decisions and be manipulated. I went with Melina Wiseman, who is best known for her role in Lemony Snicket, but I think she has that right level of kindness and sweetness, as well as a beauty that really shines through. She toes that line of confidence and grace without being too much. We wait until we're ready. I'll be waiting for the rest of our lives. You're an excellent climber. You're an excellent inventor. Thanks, but let's not celebrate yet. There's a long way to go. It's a beautiful place to do it. It's a lovely view. Very lovely indeed. She just has the right feeling for this type of character, and I could really buy into her in this role. So Melina Wiseman as Selena. Next up we have Charles, or Charlie, Selena's boyfriend. He's physically strong and pretty dominating. He's kind, but also quiet. He chooses his words and when to speak up, but when he does so, it's important. He should be shy and rather unassuming either than his big frame. Now, I think it's important that he is roughly the age of Melina, and they obviously have that chemistry. That's why I went with Chosen Jacobs. Of course, he's best known for his role in It, where he plays a very similar, sensitive soul type of character who makes you listen when he eventually speaks up. When the firemen finally found them. The skin on their heads had melted down to the bone. We're all afraid of something. He also has the frame similar to a football player, which I think can be improved on him with working out a little bit for this role, but he just has that Charles demeanor, that shy yet powerful nature to him. So chosen Jacobs as Charlie. Next up we have Hestia. Of course she is a god, but in The Last Olympian, she actually presents herself as a little eight-year-old girl. She's described as having mousy brown hair, eyes that are red yet warm and cozy. She wears a simple brown dress with a scarf over her head. Now with casting an eight year old here, we need someone who can hold their own and talk in a way that's believable that she could be a god. She needs to present herself in a very specific way and make us buy into her just taking this form rather than actually being eight years old. She should have that gravity, but a warmness to her. I went with Halla Finley, who definitely looks the part here, but she has shown in We Can Be Heroes that she has that gravitas that is needed for a role like this one. I could always talk. I simply chose to observe and listen instead. And what I heard was chaos, dysfunction, disharmony, just like your parents. Sure, she does lean a little bit more to the evil side in her performance in these clips, but I think she could cool down her performance and insert a little less aggression. She did start off a lot sweeter in We Can Be Heroes, so she could bring that side. But the way she talks in her performance feels much more senior than she is. So Halla Finley as Hestia. Next up, we have Ethan Nakamura. He is driven and a really well-trained fighter. Now, Ethan is actually older. He's 18, he's slim, and rocks an eye patch. Although he isn't the biggest character in the books, I feel like he's one that definitely stands out. That's why I went with Brian Potter who has shown in TV shows like Titans that he can really meet the physical demands of this character. But he can portray Ethan's journey and definitely his betrayal and definitely take the darker tone with this character. So Ryan Potter as Ethan. 
Last up, we have Kronos. Although he is really portrayed by Luke in those final moments, he still needs that dark, deep voice. Something is dominating. Although I do think we need that deep voice, it should also have a grit. Because Kronos has been through a lot. Someone like James Earl Jones wouldn't work here because I think his voice needs more anguish. That's why I went with Ron Perlman, who is best known for his acting, but has actually had a wonderful long career as a voice actor as well. <laughs> you are strong, child, but I am beyond strength. I am the end. He has that grit I'm looking for, as well as that low octave and that weight to his voice that Kronos should have. So Ron Perlman as Kronos. There is our final casting for the Percy Jackson series. Let me know how I did overall in the comments below and let me know what franchises you'd like to see next. It also seems like the internet's a little bit divided on their favorite book in the series, which is your favorite of the Percy Jackson books. I will eventually get to those books within the universe, so please subscribe so you don't miss out on that in the future. But as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.